Hi Vipaws lover. It's the Vipaws tutorial here. This video is going to show you the add-ons module of Vipaws. Let's get started. If you are new to our channel then please click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get more updated videos. And if you are already a subscriber to our channel, then thank you so much for subscribing. Add-ons essentially enable users to expand the functionalities of a host program by adding new components or extending its capabilities beyond its original design. In the add-on module, we can see a list of add-ons modules. Here we will know how to add add-ons to products or categories. For that, you have to click on Add Add-on. Here we give the title extra. On the field, we click on Add Field button. Here we give sauce to the field title slash label. On the select type, we can select text box, text box multiline, drop down, radio button, and checkbox. Here we select the radio button. Now after selecting the radio button, we need to create options. So click on add option button. Here you have to give an option label, price, and the is selected to enable or not. Now we are creating some options. Then give a description if you want to. Here we make it empty. If you want the customer to must select the option, make enable the is required. After finishing, if you want to add more fields, then again, click on add field button. We create another field. This time we create a drop down type in the same way we had created the previous field. Then we have to give the condition to where we want to show the add-in. So need to add the rule. For that, we have to click on the Add Rule Group button. Then click on the Add Rule button. First we have to select Type. Then we have to select Conditions Equal To or Not Equal To. Then select the item. Here we select the Category Type so in drop-down list it show all categories. We select the Food Category. You can also create multiple rules for that click again on add rule button to create a rule as you created a little bit earlier. Remember if you create multiple rules then all rules follow the and operator condition. Now we select the product type and also select not equal to condition. As we select product type and the drop down list items it shows all products. We select the coffee here. Now we create another rule for ice cream. If you want then you can also create multiple rule groups for that you have to click on add rule group button. In the new rule group, you have to add the rule again as we created in the previous rule group. Remember if you create multiple rule groups then all rule groups follow the or operator condition. You can also delete any rule group by clicking on the delete icon and then click on yes button. After giving all information click on the save button. You can see that a new add and add to the list. If you want to update and delete any add-in from the list then click on the edit and delete button. Also if you want then you can search any add-in by add-in title or label. Now we have to check the add-ons. For that, go to the waiter panel then click on add new button. To create new order you have to select the table and on the number of person, you can make it empty or give the person number. Then click on Create Order. Now we go to the Food category, then select the items and see we get the add-ons options. Now if we select the coffee or ice cream, then it does not show any add-ons. Because we set this item not equal to condition. That concludes our overview of the add-ons module of Vipaws. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more updated videos.